Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Oracle Reports tutorial. Today we will learn in this tutorial that is how to use conditional formatting in Oracle Reports. This is very easy task. Actually, we use this conditional formatting only for uh, only for highlight uh, a field and at, uh, actually if we want to highlight a field which is based on a salary that is a range uh, 5000 to 1000 then we would like to highlight this salary or if you want to highlight the any uh, specific department id or department department name then you can use it so for this just uh, connect to database and create a simple report just like that user report wizard then okay this is our report wizard here just go to the next option and then create both web and paper layout the next and then select a tabular style and then select a SQL query now the reference definition we just query a builder just click to the query builder here this is our tables in our database in Azure schema I will select just employees table then select employees then include then close it I will select the employee field that is last name and job ID and salary and nothing else then ok and then go to the next option and available fields um, select all Check employee ID. Okay. The next and available job select all and then go to the next option. And after this, uh, we will uh, there is a available total field. The select salary. I would like. would like to uh, see the salary sum. Just take it. And then go to the next option and and select a template for your report report will inherit the templates colors fonts line width and structure just select to the no template and go to the next option then finish here this is our report it just okay this is our report and here there is a salary and it is in, in the last query I will just move it to the we cannot move it because <coughs> the paper layout or the paper layout is created as usually so I would like to highlight the salary who have 5000 of salaries to 10,000 so between range so we will format it conditionally just select the salary and is go to the its property inspector that is mm, you can press F4 after selecting uh, after pressing F4 you will get the its property palette uh, this is the property palette of salary now yes now we will uh, conditionally formatting the salary item salary fields here this is the general layout and this is conditionally formatting option here just click here double click you will get a window this is the conditionally formatting option here uh, create um, click to the new option format exception new after selecting there is uh, there uh, there will another window will open and this is our window uh, this is our format exception here we will uh, s conditionally formatting our salary field this is our salary field and reading is uh, between the range salary between 5000 and 10,000 and 10,000 make uh, red color just select red 
and this is the text color and if you want to fill you can just select it or we don't want to fill any color just uh, if you also want to give a border color just click here and give a border black yeah right like right, right this and if you want to select the font just click here uh, and this is the uh, font option yeah I would like to select bold font style is bold and then ok and then uh, uh, click to the ok option that's it and now apply this is our conditional formatting we have just created in format exceptions this is the salary between 5000 and 10000 and uh, the sample will like this and uh, Korean new uh, this is the font uh, font style and it's the border line and then click to the apply button just apply and ok uh, the report prog report is progressing and it is uh, just creating our conditional formatting settings now see the changes here uh, this is the changes if there is any 5000 salary in this area in this salary field uh, it will make the uh, salary font red and it will make a circle and border line um, which is black this is how to conditionally formatting if you would like to also uh, give a color uh, give a if you want to select the IT frog IT, IT frog job ID you can do it as like this just select it and go to its property palette by pressing F4 just F4 uh, this is its property inspector just go to the conditional formatting and double click here this is the conditional formatting mm, window here and go to the new option again here we will get another um, format exception this is job id for job id field we will create a format exceptional just between it will not be between just select like like will search it prog it underscore prog p r o g prog means programmer and uh, try to text color will be as you want so it will uh, i will select the pink the pink one yes this is and if you want to give uh, if you want to give a border line just select it and border line will be blue this blue and if you want to also uh, mm, if change the font and uh, just click here font it will also open a window I will select just bold and its uh, size will be 14 ok then ok after this uh, you just um, uh, click to the ok button after this your conditional formatting is created job id like it prog and your sample will be like this and if you want to edit it just click to the edit option if you want to delete this uh, format expression just click here if you want to show the up and down just click here and there and if you want to now i would like to apply this just selecting or clicking the apply button apply and then ok the report is uh, in the report is progressing and then ok this formatting this conditional formatting is applying in my report runtime I just I would like to select yes this is IT prog you have shown you have you are seeing the changes I have just seen change the salary option uh, 5000 to 10,000 and another is IT prog uh, it will uh, make the color um, it make a border which will be blue and it's the font color will be pink this is the changes this is how to work in conditionally uh, conditional formatting in Oracle reports runtime and in every pages it will do like that so I think you have understood about this um, conditionally formatting 
in Oracle Reports Runtime. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay connected with my tutorial and stay connected with Oracle Database. If you have any kind of queries and uh, suggestions, uh, you can mail me or you can uh, give your comments or uh, give your queries and uh, questions in the comment box. I will try my level best to give your answer. And thanks for watching.